And another video response to Rabbit Ape this time. He did another anti-natalism video. And I almost wish he wouldn't have. I mean, I wish he would just say, oh, it's just too, I'm not getting into all that philosophy stuff. It's just too philosophy. Um, you know, I'm busy. Yeah, just say that and be done with it. Um, but this cursory, sloppy job that you've done of it, um, now you do a second sloppy, stupid, thoughtless video. Um, you, of course, you put the, the, the all-too-common phrase, this is my last statement on the subject, I hope, I wish, <laughs> um, which is just lame in itself. Uh, so go ahead and play that game. Um, I'm going to predict that the future is going to throw it back in your face because this isn't going away. Um, this is atheism 2.0. Maybe you're not ready for it yet, uh, but that's what it is. The old atheism, guess what? It was still theology because people had this delusion that Mother Nature was taking care of business. Yeah, there wasn't a God telling Mother Nature what to do, but Mother Nature was still in control. Um, and yeah, we shot her. Okay, um, yeah, the, the truth is being revealed. Life is stupid. Uh, news flash. It's all been a delusion. Your culture, your maturation, your Santa Clauses, your whole hopeful kind of perception of uh, a view of things, your, your little magical, oh, the little sparkly star kind of bullshit. Um, yeah, it's all bullshit. It's just that bullshit. It's crap that's been contrived into you. You've been in, it's been imposed on you by the media, um, by your culture, and it's just a big fat lie. Okay, um, it's like living in. Let's say you could live in a in a Muslim country, Islamic, um, and you weren't really Islamic. But you'd play along with the culture because you like to drink tea and smoke pipes and do all the other stuff they would do. And so, yeah, you played along because that's how they lived. And you found it comfortable. And you found it livable. Um, and that's all you did. You, you people all got suckered by the Christian religion that built this culture. And you have accepted all of its norms and memes, in a sense. Um, its values. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and uh, except for these minor ones of, well, don't beat up on the homosexuals and, uh, you know, let women abort their babies. Um, but beyond that, you're Christians um, in your um, um, perception of the world. You still think it's some sort of benign, um, that, that, it's, that, that it's a mechanism, a game worth playing, that this, this is a godly type creation, that we can somehow get back to the Garden of Eden. Um, where we're chasing more uh, rudimentary and crude Cheetos. So the Cheetos will be much simpler, but that's all it'll be. It won't be any different. It'll be the same wheel-wapping nonsense for nothing, redundantly done over and over and over again, uh, while a molecule replicates itself and uses you as fodder. You know, and you're going to keep pretending there's something else going on. Well, there's nothing else going on. There's a DNA molecule manipulating you uh, to reproduce itself. You're, <laughs> you know, you're, you've been totally duped. Well, I won't even get into it. But yeah, this was a very disappointing video. So anyway, you spent the first half of the video just explaining why you're know, making 900 excuses. Well, it's just a spontaneous video and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we all push the button. We all just watch a video and then respond to it. So that's not much of an excuse not to make any sense whatsoever. Um, and as you start this, where you actually get to the subject, you still don't get to the subject. You sit there and play this guy Liam's premises, which were very concisely and articulately uh, stated. Um, he stated the premises. What he wants is you to argue with the premises. The conclusion seems fucking obvious. So you have to defeat one of the premises to argue with what he's saying. The logic is solid, but it's what he's saying. He's saying these are the premises. When I look at them, I can't defeat them. Can you defeat one of these premises? That's what he's asking you to do. He's not asking you to defeat the conclusion, because the conclusion is dead, solid, logical. Jesus. So anyway, so let's play this crap and see how bad it really gets. But I'm just, like I said, I could see it leading nowhere good. So.
Huh, we need volume. Now, my initial response to this was kind of trying to do two things at once, but I didn't explicitly separate them, which I feel contributed to the muddiness of the presentation. So just to be clear, one, I do not agree with the premise that life is a bad idea. <clears throat> That's not the premise, you dumb fuck. It's the conclusion, you stupid shit. God damn. I mean, what's the fucking point? The point is, is you're drawing straws. You get it? You're drawing straws for somebody else. Now, there's ten long straws and one short straw. All right? Do you have a right to do this? Do you have a right to draw straws? To pull that fucking short straw, to hand it to somebody and say, tough fucking shit, asshole. I like playing the game. Do you have a right to say, I want to go ride a roller coaster? Okay? All or nothing. For all four of us have to go or all four of us don't go. That's the fucking rule. And there's one guy who it's going to make horribly sick. Do you have a right to force him to go ride on your stupid roller coaster? I mean, I could give you 5,000 analogies if you really need 5,000 fucking analogies. But Frankenstein works perfectly. Do you think it's wrong for the villagers to tell Frankenstein he can't fucking raise the dead? Yes or fucking no? It's an ethical question. God, I mean, God damn. He made it as clear as possible. You, you played his fucking video. You replayed it in your video. He uses the word ethical. And you don't deal with it at all. Well, so far. But we can see you're not going to deal with it. Or that procreating is intrinsically immoral. <clears throat> that's not, again, that's a conclusion. It's not a premise. But, even if I personally accepted that conclusion, and most people did as well, I do not know how we would go about implementing... Well, that's your lack of imagination, okay? So, yeah, so let's just imagine that all the people on Earth at 25 years old, their head popped off, flew to the moon, and exploded. All right, now you could say, well, I don't know how we're going to do anything about that. It just seems like it's part of the system. It's just everybody's head does this. Uh, no, let's not even bother investigating it. Let's not even ask the question. Maybe we could stop it somehow. No, it just seems impossible. So let's just live with the head flying off, going to the moon and exploding. I mean, that's what you're saying here. It doesn't matter whether it's right. It doesn't matter whether it's a good cause. It doesn't matter whether it's the appropriate thing that needs action. It doesn't whether, matter whether it's screaming for attention that this, this really should be resolved. It's like the biggest issue, biggest subject in the universe that sentience might be vulnerable. And you're just going to say, well, I just don't know how we could possibly change anybody's mind or do anything, so why don't, let's just all sit around and eat some cheese doodles. Yeah, fucking brilliant or enforcing antinatalism as a policy. For me oh yeah, right, enforcing, right, right. So we would stop people from imposing. So yeah, that would be just outrageous. You can't stop imposers. That's it. That's totally on. No, you can't stop people from drawing straws from somebody else. You can't stop people from going to the casino and gambling with somebody else's welfare, right? Somebody else's money. No, you couldn't pass a law like that. That's crazy. They're allowed to bet my house when they go to Las Vegas. That's their fucking right. Why? Because the biology says so. And the biology was made by Mother Nature, and Mother Nature has the authority, right? Because she's God. That's all you're fucking saying here. It's a stupid theist argument, you fucking theist. This whole idea raises many questions, which again might be more hypothetical than practical or relevant. Oh yeah, right. Hypothetical. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah. I mean, you're, you're just you're this sloughing off again. There's not any more more important subject. All right, and you people are so confident that life is a good thing. Right? You're so confident in the evidence, and yet you won't produce a tiny piece of evidence. You won't produce one fucking rational sentence besides, everybody thinks so. And that's your fucking argument. That's it. That's all, right? You, you can't... You, you're saying that it's so obvious that we don't even need to waste time on this subject of whether sentience is being abused by a universe that has no brain. Right? That, that question isn't even worth discussion. Okay, because your evidence is so overwhelming, and yet you can't produce a fucking sentence of it. Not a rational fucking sentence. <sighs>
but I think the answers will be illuminating nonetheless. I don't want to be fighting against straw men here, so I'm curious. Do you think nobody should reproduce, period? I can buy into the idea... I can buy into the idea that some people is fucking retarded and they shouldn't have kids, but I can't really buy into the idea that people shouldn't be allowed to do Frankenstein experiments. Yeah, well, look, there's no point. Like I said, you're not willing to do even a tiny bit of research on this subject, okay? There's this whole asymmetry argument about blah, 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 that, yes, everybody is better off never to exist, okay? Because it's all an addiction and a delusion, the whole living process, and they will all die in the end, and they will be buried by history. They will be f entirely forgotten. They will accomplish absolutely nothing of real substance or meaning. It is just a janitorial mission here. The only way you can even be a good human is to sit there and be a good janitor all right there's not even any other job here but cleaning up messes that sentience makes you stupid fuck but you don't aren't willing to even investigate the subject enough to know anything about the subject and yet you're going to pontificate and talk like you actually know something and you know shit you stupid fuck I mean, I like you, but you really, this is, this is too stupid again. It's just too fucking stupid. You're like some delusionary, nutty Christian. You even got the look of it. That there are too many people on the planet, and we should take measures to reduce the population, but eliminating it is something else entirely. Oh, yeah, well, that's the subject, right? It's not called population control. It's called antinatalism, okay? The guy wrote a fucking book. Everybody on YouTube is using this title, antinatalism, except for one motherfucking slimy, uh, whatever, spy. Um, is an anti-natalist in the sense they understand that all sentient life is bullshit, okay? That nature sucks, absolutely fucking sucks. It has no ethics, no control, no, no, no fucking grace in how it treats a sentient organism. It uses that. It is com just obvious, all right? They all meet horrible ends, and they meet them in, in obscene numbers. Baby elephants get eaten fucking alive, you stupid fuck. What exactly is the end game here? I can imagine a hypothetical scenario where people stop having babies, but that still leaves all of animal life. Again, you did zero research, right? Just fucking zero. You watched one fucking video on the goddamn subject, you interject your fucking self, and this is this, so you waste our time again. I mean, we've only answered this question to ad asshole trolls over the last six months about 768,378 times, you stupid, dumb jackass, you time-wasting piece of shit. God, you know, I really knew, I just knew I was going to get pissed off, because that's just so fucking bogus. You, ha you know nothing, you know nothing about this subject. And yet you fucking decide to open your fucking gob. Red in tooth and claw. So if the idea is to end suffering, we still would have failed. Would you encourage... Right, exactly. No antinatalist that I know of is advocating the annihilation of the human race and leaving animals existing. Not one single one that I know of. Geez, so, so what, what, so who are you talking to? You just used the word straw man. Now, isn't that a bit of a fucking straw man? When no antinatalist that I know of is making the argument you're sitting here complaining that we haven't somehow accounted for. Yeah, we've accounted for it, fuck nut. Or welcome something that literally destroyed the planet and killed all living things? Should we devote all of our society's resources to crashing the moon into the earth? or forcing the Earth closer to the Sun. The sheer amount of resources and unity of per There are other ways to accomplish the mission, but, you know, fine, yeah. So somebody's got an easy way to do it, let's do it the easy way. But sure, if it comes to it, yeah, let's push the old moon. Purpose required to achieve either of these goals is, I would think, comparable to what would be required to eradicate aging, disease, and poverty. Oh, uh, whatever. Eradicate aging is just going to be, you know, that one is going to happen, you know, boom, one day. All of a sudden, it's going to happen, okay? It's a little key. All you got to do is get the right key, you turn it, boom, you've unlocked that door. All right? That's a genetic equation. Uh, death is programmed, okay? And it could be unprogrammed. 
Um, you know, well, whatever. I don't even want to go into all this crap. But, I mean, this is just such bullshit. I mean, you're not talking about the question. The question is, is it ethical to have kids and you just ran the fuck away from that? You just ran away from the question. Convincing all people to be vegetarians and exterminating all forms of carnivorous life while providing unrestricted access to drug-induced euphoria and or painless assisted suicide. Again, why is it anyone's obligation to commit suicide? Why do you put, you throw somebody in a cesspool and then you hand them a gun to shoot themselves? You drink and drive, fly into somebody's living room, pin them against the wall, and then you hand them a gun to blow their brains out with. And you call that ethical. You call that being a good guy. Well, fuck you. Shove that up your ass. Now, if you yourself think having children is a bad idea, then by all means, do not procreate and feel free to try to convince others to do that. No, no, no. Would you say that to a slave owner? Well, if you feel like owning slaves, go the fuck ahead. If you don't feel like owning slaves, well, you just don't have to own slaves. Would you say it to a rapist? You're just ignoring the ethical question again, and you're saying, we, as the people who feel and understand the imposition, should just accept your imposition. No, we're saying until you account for your imposition, until you can write a coherent paragraph explaining why you need to do your Frankenstein experiments, and until you can write that paragraph and it says something more than, I have a big fat giant ego, all right? And if that's the best you can do is tell us how big your fucking ego is, all right, then fuck you is the answer to that. All right, I'm not accepting it anymore. Return to fucking sender. Take your choice and shove it up your fucking ass. It's not a matter of choice, shithead. It's a matter of you being motherfucking unethical, indecent, immoral, motherfucking scumbags. Same. Beyond that, I think you'll be creating more problems than you solve. This is what I mean. The, you're a retard, okay? You just don't get it. Sentience creates more problems than it solves. A newborn baby creates more problems than it solves, you dumb shit. All right? It, life is always, it's a problem creator, not a problem solver. It's a need creator, not a need satisfier, retard. When I say that antinatalism is impractical, irrelevant to the fucking goddamn question once again. So as far as in Mendham's other criticisms, just for the record, no, I did not really mean to imply that Liam in particular is a depressed emo kid, although in hindsight I see how my comment could be interpreted that way. I haven't seen much of his material, but he seems to be a well-adjusted human being with a good head on his shoulders. It was not meant to be snide or demeaning to him. Oh, fuck you. Just fuck you. It was meant to be exactly that. It was a trivial little put-off. That's all it fucking goddamn was. And this fucking, uh, you know, uh, 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 after the fact, uh, uh, you know, let's pretty it up, is more just of the same old, the same old rationalizations. And certainly was not meant to be any sort of argument. So once again, I... I wasn't meant to be any sort of argument. I mean, that's just brilliant. I mean, I can't think of one instance where I ever said something like, well, shit, I knew that when I was five years old, where I wasn't being, uh, where I wasn't making an argument and I wasn't intending to be snide. Apologize. I was merely stating the fact that I myself was a depressed emo teenager when I myself... Yeah, well, obviously you yourself didn't even understand the idea of what animals go through every fucking day on this stupid maggot-infested shithole of a planet, okay? That there's zillions of them right now, right this very second. And that wasn't even part of your thought process. So obviously when you were thinking about antinatalism, you were thinking about an entirely different subject, apparently. I mean, I don't even know where you go with this. What, you were thinking about antinatalism because you thought, what, human civilization was smelly? What exactly would be accomplished ending human existence? Leaving a planet just covered with a bunch of fucking animals eating each other. What fucking sense would that make? Retard. Self had a realization quite similar to the premise he laid out. Well, obviously it's not very similar. I mean, I really can't even imagine the similarity. I can't even, 
I can't even comprehend exactly what is accomplished in just eradicating humans from the planet Earth and leaving a bunch of sentient creatures, a bunch of apes, you know, swatting their flies off their ass and getting eaten by ticks and falling out of trees with polio. Why the fuck would I leave that shit here? Retard. Yes, it's something I grew out of, and I am quite the cheerful optimist now. Yeah, you're quite the idiot now. The religious, the DNA is God, DNA is God, DNA is God. <laughs> Sorry. Also, I did not need to mention that I personally believe life exists elsewhere in the universe. Yeah, well, you personally believe it. Now, again, yeah, you didn't need to believe to, to, to state it. And by stating it, you're only, again, pointing out that you have no credibility, zero credibility, okay, to speak on any subject because it's just a ludicrous statement. I personally believe it for absolutely no rational reason because if you actually do probability math and knew something about probability law, you would know that you have absolutely no reason from one sample to draw any conclusions about probability. Absolutely none. Okay, but no, apparently they didn't teach you that at college. It wasn't relevant to the discussion at hand. I'm happy to talk about that in another video, though. And yes, I believe in evolution. I really don't know where that came from, Gary. Well, it comes from the fact that you don't seem to understand that sentience is a fucking product of evolution, jackass. That your consciousness is a product of evolution, jackass. And that you are part of the DNA Borg, okay? And that you're just spouting what the DNA wants you to say. Which is reproduce, 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 consume more, make some more pointless need, make some more pointless suffering. Okay, so I can make more copies of myself for absolutely no good fucking reason. That's how it's related, retard. And things are getting better, at least in regards to human-on-human -human violence. See oh, human-on-human -human violence. Right, as a percentage of population. But let's understand the rules of that. That only works like with cells, okay? And so now you can argue, well, there's less membrane-on-membrane -membrane violence. Right? Because actual membranes don't compete with each other as much. Okay? But we know that, the, that, that that's only a, a manifestation of the fact that our civilizations have gotten so large that, oh yes, it's only a periphery that are involved in our little wars. Okay? But to, at any moment, at any one moment, okay, in time, that collateral damage number could go in the millions, billions even, in one moment. One button is pushed, all right, and millions become the collateral damage. So all of a sudden, your, your statistic means absolutely nothing. Because in one instance, okay, the numbers can skyrocket preposterously. Stephen Pinker will soon be releasing a book on the subject, but here's a link to a TED Talk where he lays out some of his ideas. Rabbit Ape out. Oh, brilliant. Well, I'll go ridicule him then. Uh, so that should be fun. <laughs> God. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway. So, yeah, whatever. Um, again, if, if you don't think this is a, a subject that needs more attention than this cursory fluff that you threw it off to, I can make the same argument that everything else you're talking about is so fucking meaningless and irrelevant. This is the big question. We have to qualify life's existence, okay? There's no God to justify it. There's no dictate authority saying it's automatically good. The suffering is, uh, is justified because the humans think so, all right? That's like saying the heroin is good because the addict chases it. It's an irrational justification. And until we come up with a rational justification, I mean, all other questions should be almost a little bit moot. Because until you prove this thing, until you prove this thing is efficient enough, we shouldn't be building a single new model um, until we know this design will work. It's like anybody taking responsibility for anything they do. If you're going to build nuclear power plants, you better be damn fucking sure you've got batteries in the goddamn thing. That you've covered your bases, that you've done everything you can to make sure it's fail safe. We haven't done any of that. We haven't test drive this piece of shit. We haven't analyzed this piece of shit. We haven't done a motherfucking thing when it comes to taking responsibility for what the fuck's going on with this whole natural DNA system. All right, all you jackasses have just taken it as a given because God, 
God, God, God. You're still stuck in a God delusion, okay? You've, you've, you've just changed the words, and you're spelling God D-N-A. Yeah. Fuck you.